And this problem we're going to solve this differential equation. So we'll do that by separating everything. The goal is to have all of the x's on one side with the dx and all of the y's on one side with the dy. So maybe let's start by subtracting this piece here over to the right hand side. So we have cosecant of y dx equals negative secant squared x dy. Okay, uh, maybe a good next step would be to write these uh, functions in terms of more familiar ones. So cosecant is really 1 over sine. Then we have the dx. And secant squared is really 1 over cosine squared. So this is negative 1 over cosine squared x. And then we have the dy. Maybe now it's becoming a little more clear. So we can multiply both sides by cosine squared and by sine y. So what that will do is it will clear the fractions. So it will put us here, cosine squared x dx. And then over here we'll have negative sine y dy. Good stuff. So multiplying by cosine squared and by sine y as well. Now we can integrate both sides. And this is kind of nice because this formula um, kind of requires that re we remember a familiar formula from the past. So the identity for cosine squared is 1 plus cosine 2x over 2. This is a really important identity. It's totally worth uh, knowing this one. So cosine squared x is 1 plus cosine 2x over 2. If it was sine squared x, it would be 1 minus. So the other one, let me write it so you have it, is this one. This is the other formula that is extremely important um, when doing integrals and other things in math. And then here we have negative sine y dy. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and break this integral here on the left up. So you can write it as 1 half dx plus 1 half cosine 2x dx. So what I do there, I just basically broke it up. It's 1 over 2 and then cosine 2x over 2, but I pulled out the, the 1 half. Then here we have negative sine y dy. Okay, the last step is to just integrate everything. When you integrate 1 half, it's going to give us uh, 1 half x. When you integrate cosine of 2x, you just integrate cosine and you divide by 2. It's a formula. So you ask yourself, okay, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, the derivative of sine is cosine. So when you integrate cosine, you get sine. So it'll be plus 1 half sine 2x, and then you divide by 2. Right? You could make a u sub, you could let u equal 2x, and that's how you would get that. But in general, when you have a cosine or a sine, and on the inside it's a number times x, just divide by the number. Here the question is, what is a function whose derivative is negative sine? And that would be cosine. Right? The derivative of cosine is negative sine. Let's go ahead and add our capital C. The very last thing to do is maybe multiply the twos here. So this is 1 half x plus 1 fourth sine 2x equals cosine y plus capital C. And that would be the final answer.